All right, hello everyone. Eric Marks here again with FindingMiddleEarth.com. And today we're gonna to talk about just a short little video here on uh, L brackets. So uh, in the past, I've gotten a ton of questions about which L brackets I use for my Fujifilm cameras, uh, specifically my Fuji X-T2. And uh, I guess about a month, maybe two months ago, uh, I made a video about the L bracket I have for the battery grip. So let's talk about that just briefly. So if you guys want to uh, watch the video on this, the link will be in the description. And this is a Kirk Photo L bracket. And I still 100% recommend and prefer Kirk Photo L brackets. Number one, I love their company, I love their service. Number two, I just love the way theirs feels, and I like the weight. I like where they, they put the weight, where they distribute it and how they distribute it into their L brackets because when it's on the camera, it feels very evenly weighted. Other L brackets I've tried, other big name brands out there, when I have them on, I can just kind of tell they're there. Like I can just tell by the weight that they're kind of shifting one way or the other. So uh, I like how when the Kirk Photo L brackets specifically are on the cameras, uh, it just kind of, the weight just kind of meshes in and it almost just kind of becomes part of the camera. You don't really know what's there. Um, so I use this on my X-T2, the battery grip. I use Kirk Photo bra uh, L brackets on my D810. I used them on my D4 and pretty much every camera I've ever owned. Um, so a lot of people said, well, Eric, I don't have the battery grip. What about the Kirk Photo L bracket uh, for the X-T2 without the battery grip? And uh, I, I didn't know, I couldn't answer your questions on how that one looked or felt because I didn't have that one. So uh, after all the the overwhelming amount of questions on the last video about that and emails and stuff, I contacted Kirk Photo again and I said, hey, will you guys mind sending me one of these to check out? And they said, hey, absolutely, we'll stick it in the mail today. And like two days later, it showed up. So uh, thank you again to Kirk Photo for sending this in. Um, they're just awesome people over there. So here it is. This is uh, the Kirk Photo L bracket for Fuji X-T2 without battery grip uh, and you know, you guys are kind of laughing at me because I, I speak so highly of the battery grip. As soon as I put this on, uh, I took the battery grip off and I think I'm going to roll with my X-T2 without the battery grip for a while unless I need, you know, the, the extra features that the battery grip provides like battery life and, you know, 11 frames per second or whatever. But uh, this just evened out the weight so good. Yet again, what Kirk Photo is so good at is the way they distribute the weight and just the overall weight is just perfect to me, in my opinion. So yeah, I love the uh, the weight of it, the way it, it just makes the camera feel. And you guys have known in the past that I tell you that the Fuji uh, 16 to 55 2.8 lens is kind of a really big, girthy lens. And I normally don't like having it on the camera uh, without the battery grip because it just kind of feels a little off of the weight. Well, I can tell you with the L bracket on there, it helps things a lot evening out the weight from the back of the camera. Um, especially since, you know, my, my right hand is, is taking over this side. And so the L bracket is just providing a nice distribution of weight on the left side. And then it's, of course, the weight of the lens is going right out the middle. So it, it just, it helps a lot. Anyway, we'll get a, a couple of, uh, close up shots of the L bracket here so you can see. So it's just a, a standard L bracket. There's no, you know, a, an L bracket is an L bracket as far as the way, you know, they, they look, right? It, it's an L. So it's not like, um, you know, you're going to see some, some bracket company come out with some groundbreaking product. The big things you want to look for is weight, ergonomics of the L bracket, and the company's service. And Kirk Photo, in my opinion, is gets a five out of five stars for all three. Here's the bottom of the L bracket. If you want to see that, it's still, it also has the threading if you want to do another tripod plate. A lot of other L brackets have that as well. Uh, I just prefer Kirk Photo. I've never had a problem with theirs. And like I said, the, the, the weird thing about their L brackets is the second I put them on, they're so tight, they never move, and they don't do any cosmetic damage to the camera over years of use. Because once I put mine on, I pretty much don't take them off. Uh, I, don't, I, I put my Kirk Photo L bracket on on my D810 like a week after I got it, which was years ago, and I have not taken it off once since that L bracket has been on. And, and I have not had to tighten it once since it has been on, by the way. Um, so it's just, it just kind of becomes part of the camera, which I love. And, uh, because of that, I, like I said, I think I'm going to roll with my X-T2 for a while without the battery grip, just because I love the way this L bracket feels and looks and I like the weight of it. So, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to do this as far as the, um, the battery, the battery's not covered the compartments. Uh, there is a little trick with all little L brackets. So 
The best way to get the compartments open is not to go in the actual L bracket hole, is to take your, your fingernail and go in from the back side over here. And if you just kind of pop your fingernail under that hood, then it just falls out and there uh, is access to your cables and whatever else you need. So, you know, all L brackets are gonna kinda sorta get in the way of your, you know, your regular way of opening your cables and ports and everything, but they never completely block it. So you can just get in there with your fingernail, kinda pop the lid open and it just falls open. So, doesn't block the battery, doesn't block that. If you do have some kind of like peak design accessory where you need another tripod plate, it has a little threading for that, like I said. Uh, but yeah, overall, you know, there's, there's no need to elaborate on this. It's a great L bracket. In my opinion, I think Kirk Photo is the best, but it's it's all opinion. It's all just basically, you know, based on experience, right? I've had uh, a lot of really great experiences over the years with Kirk Photo, and that's why I love them so much. And it doesn't mean that I that all the other L brackets out there are horrible and that I hate everyone else. It just means that I think that they're extraordinarily good. Uh, it's kind of like the way that if you you know you, you you take your car in to get your oil changed or your tires rotated, and you end up finding one place that gives you like a really great experience, and so you just kind of fall in love with that place because that one place did something special for you. So it's kind of the same way with, with me and Kirk Photo. I think that they're just a great company. They've uh, they've been very very great to me over the years and their products just work and they're easy so uh and then, like i said the, the thing that i think is kind of special about them is i like the weight i like the way they distribute the distribute the weight uh across their entire l bracket because it just feels it always feels really good on all the cameras so uh yep the kirk photo l bracket i'll stick a link in the description as well so you can head over to their website uh, i have no affiliate links with them i'm not sponsored by them in any way didn't get any money for this i just like their stuff so uh thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one if you would like to stay up to date on all of my photography videos and free tutorials, please consider subscribing by clicking on my face. And if you would like to find out more about me and how to improve your photography, visit my website at findingmiddleearth.com.